welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. This is Kristen, and we have been scrapping around the world together. Um, I am doing videos of our family time together, doing Universal Yum snack boxes, and I just did a video the, earlier today with a process video for two of the layouts that I was doing for Spain and I had a few more to go to finish Spain before I could move on to the next one and so I just thought I'd do a short video um, and for me that's pretty impressive because I, no matter how hard I try my videos end up being like 20 plus minutes and I'm really trying to cut back. I'm not fancy enough to do that speed work um, and I also talk too much. So, um, just quickly, this is the stack I am working on so far. I started, it is now Saturday, June the 5th. I started working on this book on the 1st, I believe. Um, I did all of Greece, and I went over these in one of my other videos. And I'm just layering, doing lots of layering, some inking, different techniques with the colors from the flag of that country. So these are just the four from Greece. Like I said, I'd already kind of gone over. Um, these are the four that I did for Austria, which was the second one that we did. I've been doing lots of banners. Um, I'm using this washi tape throughout on every page. You will see it in different places. Um, I brought in some fussy cutting, um, like I said, banners, layers, tearing, cutting, these little globes. You'll see three of those on every page as well. Hmm. Um, I am attempting to do four, at least four pages per country so it's consecutive um, and continues throughout. I did some embossing on this page. Some pages are pretty simple. Um, and I am going to go back and add journaling and maybe some extra little embellishments in the future. But for now, this is really where I'm at. And this is a game that we played after we were done. So here is Spain. This is what I've been working on. And um, I did a process video for this page. I also embossed here. This is the Spanish flag is red and yellow. Um, so I did that on here. I have these cards that are Project Life um, Salsa cards, and they are great. So my family, I have to look up, personally, I had to look up what each of these things say, although I knew what that meant, um, because I only know a little Spanish. Um, so this is the beginning of Spain. We've done it twice. We started in 2019, so this is our 2019 um time and I decided to go ahead and do both 2019 and 2021 together so that I could have the colors out and the ephemera and stickers and embellishment all that stuff so and had my I was in Spain not that I wouldn't want to go for real but this is as close as I got so this is my cover page um, I will probably do very little journaling on here just because this is just the beginning um, each first page of the um, Country, each country's first page will have the name of the country and if I have it the little flag um, and like I said every page has three of these little um, washi tape globes and this life is an adventure washi tape strip so there is that it just has some embossing this is a die this is one I did a process video for today I did not lay out all of these during the video I came on with those already there and added all the extras in the middle with another page that's back burner. Um, I got this off of Pinterest, an idea off of Pinterest, and just really loved it. So this was the second page in the layout, and this is the third page. This was the yucky stuff that we most of us did not like, so that's why all the yucky thumbs or the eh thumbs. These were egg flavored chips gross that might be your cup of tea but it was not spicy uh, flavored mango that's why I did this cut file on my Cricut um, and this hot pepper 
um, background. I distressed all of these um, because this was the yucky stuff. I thought that kind of yucking up the page would make that more obvious without other than the yuck. So the matching page says yum or will. No, it says sweet. It says sweet in Spanish. Um, dulce. And forgive me if it's terrible. Um, so this hooray paper is what this is backed on. I just cut out one word and mounted it on here because this was the good stuff. We liked yummy stuff. Um, and I've just cut the washi that says life is an adventure here and did something a little different. I like that. I will journal on here the things that we really liked from this. Every picture of just like the food um, if we liked it, we'll have a heart. If it was okay, or some people liked it, we'll have a star. I have not decided what to do about the yuck yet. Um, I may find some embellishments that have like the frowny face or something like that. Um, and then one more page, I think. This is the last page, yeah. This is the last page for the 2019 Spain. I, this is um, from where I cut the hexagons out for the other page that I already showed you. I just used the negative here and on another page you'll see um, I just loved bringing in the yellows and the reds from the Spanish flag. Um, these were all yummies, thumbs up, scored from one to five. My daughter obviously did not like whatever this was, but my brother-in-law and my aunt did because they're giving it a high score. So if the majority liked it, it got a heart. If they did not, um, like my son and nephew love these um, uh, watermelon slices. So I took a piece of American crafts um, paper that had these watermelons on it and I just fussy cut some of them and kind of layered them around here. And there are the little world globes on here. I just did lots of layering. All right, so this is the beginning page for 2021's visit to Spain. I did the exact opposite from the other one. On the other one, I had inked with dye the red and then used um, an embossed paper in the middle for the yellow. On this one, I did embossing on the red. Um, and these are, I think they're simple stories. Oh, I can't remember now. Um, I just love these. Uh, and then I used Tim Holtz alcohol inks on this. My first time using them. So, hey, I like the way they turned out. Um, and I am starting to use some Tim Holtz um, the ideology things. And I will be adding more of those as I go. It's just hard to look through all of them because they are little and there's a billion of them. Um, this is just says something about being appreciating, and I appreciate my sister and brother-in-law are going to buy the box every month and get us together and do all the hard work. So I'm going to journal about that there. This is where I use the negatives from the hexagons. I trimmed it all around instead of leaving it big like the other page um, because I had seen another thing on Pinterest and I loved the concept. So I picked the yellow and the red and I just put a little here and then covered where there's if there's not one in the middle. And then I just put a bunch of layers. These are the different colors that were in the hexagon. So these are just scraps. This is all just scraps that didn't get used. And this piece of paper just happens to say, love puts the fun in to get, um, love puts the fun in together, sorry. Um, and that just fits perfectly the remnants of after we're done with our yum box and this says um this is talks about your favorites so i'm going to just write some of our favorites from the 2021 box and um i put the little heart on here because all of us like those except for like one person um so i felt like the majority won um and then i had these little banners that i put on here from a recollections fiesta sticker pack and i added a banner down here to kind of cover up some little um, loose ends. So I really love the way this turned out. It w is a whole lot more simplistic than I made it out to be because I was stressing out about certain little things that ended up not being a big deal. So, um, so this, I love the way this turned out. And then this is, um, another attempt to use the alcohol inks. I was just 
practicing some technique and thought I'd love to blend the yellow and the red in different places um, and just bring it in. This is also using the actual proper paper for the alcohol ink so that we could do the watercolor um, ombre. I did not put um, enough of the lightning stuff on there. Um, and this is a stamp also from that same Tim Holtz box. Uh, this is from a paper bag from the Damask uh, Love, I think it's called, uh, from American Crafts. Um, this is just a sticker from the um, a dollar store from the Crafters Corners. I just used this because this was like yucky. Here we have the spicy mango things again in this box. One of the, those and the fried eggs, the two things that we did not like the first time we got again. <laughs> Um, and so, yuck, I put hot on here and the hot stuff because this was spicy and you could see everybody's face was like, ugh. So I wrote no bueno, which is no good. Um, so one way this way away from the yuck. And then on this page, this is the good stuff. Uh, I believe this says something about enjoying every moment. Um, I have little notes on my stack of these cards. I have a little post-it note. Enjoy every moment. See, was right. Um, telling me what everything in these means, just so I could write. I don't want to put something on here that doesn't fit. Um, I just put this card on here. Love the color and, of course, the sentiment. Um, I put this shiny pineapple on here because these are pineapple rings. Um, they are sour. Both the boys love them. They weren't necessarily everybody else's favorite. Um, so all of these are good, yummy things. And so I put a heart on the page in general since we liked everything for the most part. Just did a bunch of layering. Um, and this came out of the Project Life salsa as well. And last but not least, this is our yuck. Um, the things that we did not like in there. So I have, like I said, I haven't decided what to put on here, but this says something like to be continued or continue on, I think it means. Um, so I thought just kind of like with the one way, go this way, let's move on to something better. So, and this says nasty in Spanish. <laughs> and I would say that out loud, but it would probably be like butchered and I would feel terrible. So I originally had this washi tape straight down on this black paper and this, uh, where the word is, is white because it, it shows through whatever you put it on. And so I put it down on the black and it looked okay, but it really didn't stand out very much. And all this uh, worldly uh, map kind of design just kind of faded into the black. So I pulled it off of there, put it on a piece of white paper, trimmed around it, put it up on some foam squares and then popped it up there. So I gave this page a little dimension. And I just tucked some little, um, really loose little pieces that I had trimmed off from something else. And I put the globes right on top of the little polka dots so that they would stand out better because they also will show a little from what's behind them. And that is it for Spain. Now, the next thing we will, I, well, you, if you're going with me, we're going to do the holiday adventure. That is so loud on this video, I promise. That is. Um, and this is going to be different um, because this is from different countries. I think when I counted it was like 13 different countries. Um, Germany and um, I think that there was Uruguay. Um, I mean there's tons and tons of different. There's some more Spain. Um, so every page it has different places. So it shall be interesting to go through and get all the different colors together and I think I'm going to mat each picture with whatever they're eating from that country like this is from Poland and I feel like there was something from Japan so yeah this so anyway it should be an adventure and I will do a process video for my cover page for this after I pick out which one of these again I gotta open this up um, awesome pictures I am going to use for the cover. I mean, <laughs> my family is so silly. Um, so, but I've got lots of pictures to choose from, and I have a feeling that doing a four page layout will not be a problem. So, 
Um, I hope you will join me as I go on my next adventure. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening and have gotten a chance to do something that you love with someone you love today. And I hope you will come back and see me. Happy scrapping.